Hi, this is Zach. In this video lecture, I'll be talking about factors or categorical variables. Now, when you work with data, you might encounter sometimes continuous variables, and at other times, you might encounter categorical variables. A continuous variable basically measures the amount of something, and it's a number. So, for example, it might be the price of a house in dollars, it might be the number of sales of a product, it might be the number of cases of a novel disease. On the other hand, a categorical variable basically takes on a set of a finite possible values. So, for example, zip codes are usually finite, a race might be finite, and in particular, some categorical variables are so called binary variables because there are only two possible values, such as whether a student passed or failed a quiz, or whether a patient survived or died. Uh, in R, we use factors to represent categorical variables. We also have to distinguish between factors that are ordered versus factors which are unordered. So if if a factor has a sort of natural ordering, let's say the order is increasing or decreasing to some in some degree, then we might want to order the levels of the factor. So for example, if you're asking about a survey, do you agree with the statements? They might be strongly agree, agree, neither agree nor disagree, then disagree, then strongly disagree. So clearly it's ordered from most to least agreement. Or if you're asking about t-shirt size, well, the t-shirt sizes have a natural ordering from smallest to largest as well. On the other hand, some factors don't have a natural ordering, such as favorite color or race. Uh, basically, they're just different levels, and there's no automatic ordering from least to most. In R, you use the factor function to convert a column's data type into factor. And this is an example of how you might use the factor function together with the mutates function to convert the feeling column from whatever it was into a factor. By default, uh, a factor or other column uh, or character columns are ordered alphabetically. So let's say you count the values of the feeling column. You notice that just right is alphabetically before too easy, is alphabetically before too hard. However, it's clear that for too easy, just right, and too hard, this is kind of the natural order of the values from easiest to hardest. So you can use the levels parameter to specify how to order the values of this factor. So let's say you tell them, OK, order them using too easy, then just right, then too hard. And when you use the mutate function, uh, sorry, when you use the factor function, you need to make sure you specify the levels equals to the vector that you defined earlier. And you can see the difference in the without levels versus the with levels. So without levels, it's kind of the default alphabetical order. With the level specified, it becomes the easiest to the hardest order that we want. OK, so now let's go to the coding demo. So as usual, load the tidyverse. All right, then, uh, all right. And then this is the data where we have six students and their feelings. So initially, the character, the feeling column is character, as you can see here, and you can convert it into a factor data type using the factor function, like so. So now notice that feeling is a factor column rather than a character column, as indicated by the FCT. If we do the count, as I mentioned, the count is in the feeling column is ordered alphabetically, as you can see here. Let's say you want it to be ordered from easiest to hardest, so you specify the levels. 
so we create a column vector sorry you create a vector of the levels then you use the factor function with the levels specified and now the feelings are ordered from easiest to hardest as we want all right that's all for now see you next time bye